It's a silent disease that is always dismissed as normal. But what many fail to know is that depression is now one of the fastest killer diseases, not only in Kenya, but worldwide. According to the World Health Organization, mental illness has set in even at the age of 14, and suicide is the second leading cause of death among 15 to 29-year-olds. Tonight, on the Monday Report, we talk to two young people who have suffered depression and have attempted suicide more than three times, but they were able to overcome and are now helping others to cope. We meet Betty Wanjiku at their home in Thika carrying out house chores. She just got back from church where she tells us she found peace after a struggle with bipolar, a mental health condition that led her to attempt committing suicide six times in a span of one year. I felt tired, I felt frustrated, I felt like I was battling too much. But if you asked me what really I was battling, I wouldn't have an answer for you. 18-year-old Wanjiku had no clue what she was suffering from until her third attempt. I took 10 cetrizines. This one's made me really like lightheaded and I blacked out. That is when I was rushed to hospital, was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Her recovery journey began after the fifth attempt, where she used her medication to try and take her own life. I saw the support that I had from my parents. The fact that I didn't want to talk about it before and now they were opening up and I wanted to open up and I said, I'm feeling like this. And that is where every, everything took a turn. The sixth attempt was... I started cutting myself. That one was with, in no attempt to die, but that was in an attempt to release all the inner anger that was inside of me. Wanjiku is now focused on starting her own foundation to help those going through the same struggle. Having the slogan, it is okay not to be okay, would make people come out and say that, you know what, I have depression, I have this and that, I'm going through this. Every time she, she used to get those attacks, we used to pray to her and tell her she will not die. But she used to proclaim the goodness of the Lord. It is a journey that Meshek Minor knows only too well as he battled depression for over 15 years. I tried killing myself three times. One of the times something happened. Somewhere in my depressed hand I saw a vision. I saw an image of my mom crying. And I realized what I'm going to do right now is going to hurt someone else. Miner has, through his past experience, together with four others, formed a team that identifies some of the victims, especially those who post their intentions on social media and use their friends and family members to reach out before they can execute their plan. When you see somebody lighting a suicide note online, they are not actually telling you goodbye. They are telling you, this is my last call for help. It is either you come now or I'm gone. You start by looking at people who usually comment on their things. So you have to do that as such. On the recent things they have written, people who comment and you look at the language they use. Because I can tell when a stranger I've never met comments on a photo and somebody I know personally comments on that photo. The language is different. As a result of their combined effort, eight people have been saved, including a woman who was about to kill her two children before committing suicide. All of them are receiving counseling services. So we need to have a lot of people who have gone through this and healed, coming out and speaking about it, so that somebody will hear this story and they'll get that emotional encouragement to come out and ask, how did you solve this? According to Mina, who is a sociologist, causes of depression are wide-ranging and could include medical reasons, where one suffers from either bipolar or has terminal illness. The second cause, which is mostly associated with young people, is socioeconomic factor. That is lack of financial stability, unemployment and debts. Another cause could be human relations that affects mostly couples, families and which is attributed to domestic violence, spouse or family negligence. If you ever see anything suicidal written by somebody tag me or take a screenshot send it to me and my phone number is all over the internet according to the world health organization depression is affecting more than 300 million people worldwide and there is need for awareness and acceptance of depression as a disease that can be prevented and treated